Hi guys, my name is Steph and I want to welcome you to my channel. If you love all things fashion and lifestyle, then you are in the right place. So please hit that subscribe button for all upcoming videos. Today's video is going to be a little bit different and I really debated um, doing this video. I went back and forth with myself because I know that your YouTube feed must be filled with the same exact video. And I thought, why would I do it if everyone else is doing it? But it's because I love her. So today we're going to be reviewing the Rare Beauty makeup line. And I'm super, super excited because as I said, I do love Selena Gomez a lot. Um, and I thought of a way of making it maybe a little different. So I am collaborating with my best friend whose page I will link down below. She will be doing the same exact video. Um, we both have different skin types. So I am on the oily, extremely oily side. Um, and she's on the drier side. So it's kind of like us giving an opinion for different skin types, me being oily, her of course being dry. Um, so please do look forward to that video. I will link her page down below as mentioned previously. I did buy all these products with my own money to be able to give an honest review. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I have seen a bunch of reviews online and this looks like it's catered more to um, dry girls, to be honest with you. So I am a little nervous about that. Um, one reason, not one reason, one of the million reasons why I did want to go out and buy a lot of her stuff from this line is because a lot of their proceeds will go towards mental health, which is incredibly amazing. I am someone who's on her own mental health journey right now. I have been battling a lot of my demons for many, many years. And this year is a year that I said I would dedicate to mental health. So I'm so happy that I was able to pick up a lot of things and know that some of my money will go towards um, mental health, which makes me happy. I bought, I'm looking at the stuff right now, pretty much a full face of makeup with the exception of, she doesn't have bronzers or she doesn't have an eyeshadow palette. So I'm gonna improvise there. And even though she does have this, um, it's like a, like a blotting, a puffer and blotting sheet. I am not going to use this to set my makeup. I will use my regular Schmegular Pat McGrath Labs setting powder to go ahead and set my makeup. All right, enough rambling. Let's get right into the video. Wow, I look like an egghead. I really, really apologize. Yeah. Honestly, I just don't know how to do makeup. Like, I'm really shy to do makeup in front of camera because I feel like people are gonna be judging me. So I've already gone ahead and prepped my skin. Um, I've cleaned it and put moisturizer, toner, and all that good jazz, sunscreen, please never forget. But I honestly, to be honest, honestly, to be honest, I have been having a lot of breakout lately and I don't understand why my skin even though it's on the oily side, it's not one to break out like this. Yes, this is maskne. So I did just go buy a silk mask to see if that would help. But whatever is happening up here, I'm just not understanding. I don't know why it's happening. Um, so uh, yeah. So first things first, I'm gonna go in with the Rare Beauty Always an Optimist Primer. I'm a little nervous to go in with this because it's supposed to make you look dewy. I don't wanna look like that but it is said to be a gel consistency and I have heard that gel products are really good for someone who's oily. It's just, I'm a little on the fence, I'm a little scared. Oh, it's very, very girly. Let me see if it focuses. Can you, can you focus, can you see that? She is girly. All right, so I'm just gonna go with very little because I'm not trying to really OD all of this. Okay, now I'm pissed. You know what? I usually do my eyebrows first. Um, and I do my primer first. No, I'm not. I will bring up my mirror every now and then because, lord. Okay, so, wow, it gives like a really nice glow. I, try, I used very, very little, of course, because I am on the oily side, but it's like a very nice glow from within, which I don't mind. 
and I don't know if you can tell, I don't think you'll be able to tell, it does have very, very fine glitter, very, very, very fine. So, um, yeah, there's that. I, don't, I can't really see it on my face, but I do see it on my fingers. Wow, I'm gonna go in with her brow pencil. One side is the pencil, the other side is the gel. Let me brush them out with my own little spoolie because I know that this one is filled with gel. I went with the shade Deep Brown. There it is. Look at it. Super cool. I'm a little nervous. Again, guys, I'm so sorry. I'm really nervous about this because I just feel like you guys are going to make fun of my makeup techniques because I'm not a makeup artist, but whatever. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do light strokes. Okay, so this is very pigmented. I'm not even gonna lie. I don't wanna do anything. Like, I don't wanna make it super intense. I just wanna follow my brow's natural shape. And just cover a little here and there. It's on the pigmented side. Okay, have you guys seen the, her new ice cream video with Blackpink? Like, you know that I absolutely love Blackpink and Selena Gomez. So that was like a two for one from like Christmas and August. And the video is absolutely stunning. I know that like K-pop and the whole world is known for like these bomb videos. And given the circumstances with COVID and all that, the video was a little on the simpler side, right? For what we're used to from Blackpink, but I absolutely love that video. I hmm, is it better than how you like that? Probably not. It's right up there with it, though. Oh, my God. Jenny, Lisa, Jisoo, Rosé, Selena, they all killed me with those outfits. They're so cute. Um, sisters, not twins or cousins not sisters but whatever sisters not twins that's just just please just bear with me my skin is doing so so bad so there you go pretty pigmented i look like a fool oh, no. and now i'm gonna go ahead open up the gel side you know what i'm nervous about with all this is having to do that liquid liner on camera because lord knows i'm not that with that i'm now gonna go in with foundation and honestly she really killed it with the packaging i'm absolutely obsessed it's super super cute and i'm going in with the shade 230n i will tell you the day this released i was working so my best friend went and bought everything for all of us the one that i'm collaborating with and she picked out my color so you're still hoping that she did good because um I'm scared, but I do trust her blindly with picking my makeup and I did buy the foundation brush because I saw people applicating with the sponge, with the sponge that it comes with and the brush and I actually really like how the brush spread everything on the face, so. Please hold while I add more foundation. Why did I act like I'm out here acting like I got a free sample? And I, oh, whoa. Now I'm gonna overdo it.
it gives me like a healthy skin sort of situation. I just don't really know if I like that for someone who's super oily. I don't know, what do you guys think? What? Do you hate? Let me stop before I start removing the foundation. Let me stop, keep on dabbing. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I don't know how to feel about this foundation right now. I don't know if I like how it looks on me. I like that like glow from within, but seeing it up close, I'm just not. I think I look like a mess. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the Rare Beauty Concealer in 210N. I did buy the concealer brush, but I keep my handy dandy beauty blender here just in case because I usually apply my foundation and concealer with a beauty blender. Ooh. So this is what it looks like. Okay. Okay, I'm not gonna do a lot. I'm just like a little afraid. I'm gonna do a lot, okay. Put some here, straight down my nose, a little up here, a little X marks the spot. Okay, so I will say this. I guess you can build up the concealer. Holy cow, I just, you know, stopped my eye. The foundation feels like it's medium coverage. You can definitely build it up. The concealer is a little on the lightweight side, which I personally don't mind because this year, I'm more of that like natural, like less is better, less is more, that's what it is. So the more natural it looks, the more I like it. Um, I don't mind, but if you are someone who likes going, you know, full face, I don't think you're gonna like this concealer. Just being honest. But it is very like, I could still see a lot of my imperfections seep through. But then I totally don't mind that. You know, the foundation is starting to grow on me, that girl from the thing. I'm not now usually after this I would go ahead and set the face. I'm just kind of scared too because the bronzer that I'm using, it's not Selena Gomez, it's the Huda Beauty. Um Tantor Contour Contour. The Tantor of uh, Contour and Bronzer Cream in light. And this is a cream. <laughs> this is like creamy so I don't know if I want to set my face but then I'm scared that it'll just start moving everything um what do I want to do This is the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush, and this is in the shade Bliss, right there. She has a lot more shades, but this is the most, like the softest one I could find. And um, again, I've never used liquid blushes, so I'm a little scared. Oh, I wouldn't. So I'm a little scared, and that's why I picked the lightest color. And upon seeing many videos, a little goes a long way. Like I'm talking about one doll. Oh, shh, I'm scared. Okay. No, really, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm gonna go the wrong way. That's too much. Oh my god. I'm gonna... And then I'm gonna do two miserable dots. Two miserable dots. Oh, fuck. Okay, okay. Let me get on it. Oh, and 
and it definitely dries down to a matte finish. Oh, shh. And as you can see, a little goes a long way. Wow. The product I was more scared of made me my favorite. I just want it to look like a pinch of pink, not like a lot. Again, I'm a minimalist when it comes to makeup, so. Wow. I'm in love. <gasps> Next thing we're gonna be using is the Rare Beauty Liquid Highlighter. I went with the color Mesmerize. I believe this is Selena's Choice. Again, one of the softest that I felt for my skin tone. Um, this is more for me. I don't know how many times I'm gonna say it. So yeah, I'm a little scared to go in with this. I'm not even gonna front. Let's get Oh, I am opening it. That's too much for me. It really is a lot. Okay, so I'm gonna slide. Oh! Very little. And I'm gonna go ahead and do it with my fingers. I can see it here. It's a nice like little glow from the in. I just, I look crazy all around. Wait, and when I set it, will my still gonna be glowy? Wow, I like this. I like it a lot. Ooh. I'm gonna add a little more when I'm crazy with it, and this is the part where I'm gonna hate myself. Wow. Oh, sorry, I said I wouldn't do that. Oh shoot, see I said this would be the part where I'm gonna make myself Okay, she is like glowy, but it's not like a crazy crazy glow. My skin looks healthy. Dang. Okay. I'm not mad at it. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face now. Wow, the things that I was the most scared of, I will say are hands down my favorite. The blush and the highlighter. Now that that's done, let me just add some color to my eyes. I'm really just gonna go in with my Charlotte Tilbury. My Charlotte Tilbury. Um, cheek to cheek blush and a little bit of bronzer and now for the part that I'm most afraid of I'm gonna go in with the rare beauty Can you see it the packaging on everything is just stunning and this is the Rare Beauty Perfect Strokes Matte Liquid Liner. I'm scared. Oh, oh, she's pretty. She's a little on the thicker side, but very precise at the tip. And bro, bro, I'm scared. Oh my God, this could just throw off the whole look. Oh. I don't know what to do. I'm stressed out. Oh. Okay, so she's like two glides on. Sorry, okay?
sweetie. I love this pen. You couldn't see a lot of the process because I was literally like this. Um, whoa, whoa, I love this pen. You could probably see like the little that I struggled because I was shaking, but look at that. Oh my God, this is such holy Whoa, no, like this is awesome. Holy cow, holy, this is awesome. Wow. I mean, you probably hate my wing liner, I don't blame you, but I'm obsessed. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Always an Optimist 4 in 1 Mist Shake Well. So, I'm a little scared to use this because it looks like it's greasy, and why would I wanna use that? Mm. What is that smell? It's so good. Let me get my little fan. I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes and then put some mascara. I'm gonna use the heat. Huda, really? The Huda Beauty Legit Lashes. It comes with two sides. One is volume, the other one is curl and length. Let me go to the magnifying side. Everything on the lashes. See, the thing with my lashes is I have not beautiful lashes. They're just long. I have long lashes that just go whoop, like straight. And there is nothing I can do to make up for lift up. Do you guys watch Pony's makeup or Pony's makeup tutorial or whatever? Okay, do you see how like she curls her bottom lashes? Bro, that is crazy. I'm gonna go in with the with the balloon side first. I'm gonna go in with the curl and the lengthen side. And this is what one looks like it has that little dip right there for This mascara is life. Wow. Now for the last part, I'm gonna go in with the lippies. I got three, so I got her lip souffle within the shade Courage right here, which I absolutely love. And then I also got Brave. It's super magic. But I really don't know if I wanna go in with the lip souffle. Like I feel like it'll darken everything. I also got her Dewy Lip Balm in the shade Thankful. Yeah, that is beautiful. I don't know if I want to do this over the lip souffle. I'm going to do the lip souffle just to test it out, I guess. Let me see. Do I want to do that? Or do I want to do Dewy? I'll do this. What I appreciate about this packaging is um, the fact that you can see the color that you have to pick out. So the whole tube is the color of the lipstick, as you see here. And I mean, that's great because when you're going in for it, you know exactly what color you're getting. Open it. See where it ends up. That's super cute. And this is what it looks like. Oh my god, I love this. I have really, 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 really crusty dry lips. Um, so this doesn't feel like it's drying it out or like it's sitting on my cracks and just like you could see the crustiness. It's so pretty. I don't know if you're able to see it, but it's so pretty. Oh, I am obsessed.
excess. The last product I got, I already showed you, which I told you I would not be using. These are really, really good. They're refillable. I think this is um, smelling it. Uh, a puff with powder infused in it from what it says. I'm not sure. I don't really want to use this now with my makeup because how do you clean that, you know? And then blotting sheets, which I intend... Uh -huh. I intend to keep this in my purse just because, as I mentioned, I am an oily person. I like the look. This is like something I would usually do on a daily, minus the eyeliner. But you know, I wanted to try it out. I love this look. First review for someone with oily skin. I will say the foundation I wasn't too fond of as I was first putting it on. I felt like it just made me look super, super dewy. But now that I've set everything, I love how it looks. It just kind of gives you like that natural, healthy skin kind of look. Loved the blush. I'm someone who does not like crazy blush. So this was the perfect amount. As you can see, that is super, super, the blush is super, super pigmented. I really only needed like two barely there dots and it did the job for me. You can always do more, but it is super, super, super pigmented. The highlighter I like just because it's on the subtle side. I know a lot of people like their highlighter to be super, super loud. I'm not one of those because again, I'm oily. So this I absolutely loved. I know a lot of people have their, their different opinions on it. Some people like it. Some people feel it does a white cast, blah, blah, blah. But for me, I absolutely loved it. Overall, I think the line is perfect to cater for someone like me, who's more on the minimalist side. I love her lip souffles. They are absolutely stunning. If you had to go and get one product only, like if I had to recommend one product out of the whole line, I would, ooh, this is a toughie because I actually liked a lot of them. Oh, the liner. I didn't even talk about hands down. I, let me see. I think these were my favorite products. These right here. Oh, and the foundation brush. The foundation brush was actually, sorry. The foundation brush was super, super good. If you had to pick one, I don't know, maybe one of these four. Overall, I think I really, really enjoyed all of her products. Um, I feel like it's that perfect no makeup makeup look or even like Ooh, glow from within. I don't know how my best friend's gonna feel about it. Of course, you can just head on over to her channel and watch her video whenever she posts hers. And um, yeah, this is it. I absolutely love it. I keep saying this, but I am obsessed. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a little different from the usual fashion stuff. Um, please like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you want to see next. And until next time, bye. Set my makeup. So without further, oh. <laughs> oh. So without further ado, let's hop on right into this video. Let's hop on right into this video. No your water first. Alright, enough rambling. Let's get right into it. What was that? Yeah, and X marks the spot for the pimples. <laughs> 